Hello everyone, so basically I haven't been on BitChute and on YouTube for quite a while and that's because I've been replacing equipment and like kind of just, I don't know, learning how to do that. It was pretty simple, but finding equipment, ordering it, and then waiting and I don't really have, you know, the extra money to have Amazon send it to me in like less than 24 hours, so yeah, you know, I had to replace it because my old microphone, it was so terrible, like literally the quality, it was awful, honestly. You'd have to like turn up the volume all the time or at least sometimes like the audio would be like fading out. So it would be like, what, like regular and then all of a sudden start dropping and get quieter and quieter. So I was like, okay, I need to replace this immediately. And I just wanted to thank everybody that's helped support this channel by donating, by sharing my links, and, you know, being there, especially through all the really bad audio. It really means a lot to me, and I really do appreciate this. Over the last week, I went from having this little microphone, where it's just your basic USB, like, starter mic, and from that to the Blue Yeti Blackout. Now, that's a lot better, but of course I wasn't able to do that right away. You know, it took time, it took patience, and as time went by, you know, I was able to do that. So that's really cool. Then there's also, you have a pop filter, the arm stand, of course, to hold the microphone. And then it included with these headphones too that I got. So that is good. I'm probably not gonna be using it like right now or like all the time, but I probably will be doing it if I'm doing like um, live streams, I think. It would be better to hear my audio then because it's, you know, live and I don't really wanna mess up completely. If you haven't noticed, I still edit my videos, which I'm trying not to do, actually. I'm trying to not really edit my videos, but I am, yeah, still doing that. Moving forward, I need to discuss what happened with the journalist Andy No and several other, you know, innocent people that were just trying to see what was going on or they're protesting against it, but really there shouldn't be any violence if it's supposed to be a peaceful protest. And obviously, as we know, Antifa, they are not peaceful. So they ended up assaulting Andy by kicking him, punching him, screeching, like literally acting like maniacs, acting like animals, really. And after that, it wasn't even enough for that. They couldn't even stop themselves after they're punching him. And, you know, one of the guys that was punching him had these like Oakley assault gloves or something, which I didn't even know exist, but apparently there's gloves. And I kind of like, I saw this picture and here, I'll actually put the picture up right now. Okay, so look at that though. That's like armored. What is this for? Obviously, it's to hurt somebody. And he had to take punches like that in the face. And that's just awful to have. Then the milkshake, it had like this dry cement or quick dry cement. Basically, it's like a chemical that's kind of like, you know, has acid burns or something or like chemical burns. And that is horrible. There's plenty of video evidence going around from a lot of people from like the side, the front, the back. So it's very well covered and I'm glad that people were able to, you know, get evidence to help protect Andy. Now, this all happened in the Portland area where literally I live. So it's kind of horrifying to know that, hey, if you go down the street, you might end up getting mauled with chemicals or liquid and you might get punched, you might get kicked. And it's just why? Why have something like that go on? But I mean, it's not just Portland. It's also Berkeley. It's also like New York. It's also basically every single major city in other parts of California. So yeah, we have a big problem in America and that problem is Antifa. In a live stream, Andy tells everybody how he was assaulted, how there is blood dripping down the side of his neck. You could see it on his face. And he was, you know, really mad at the Portland police. And he should be mad at the Portland police. They're not doing their jobs or, you know, the governor's not letting them do their job, having their hands tied. Either way, it's awful and they need to be doing their jobs. If not, why, why is there a police department if they're not gonna protect citizens, they're not gonna protect journalists? In the live stream, you can hear him saying, where the hell were you to the police? And also he had two reports earlier in the day for, you know, being assaulted. And that was never resolved by the police. They never took care of it. They never did their jobs even trying to do that. That's what people are saying. They're not doing their job at all. So sometimes they're standby, but when it comes to investigations, for some reason, that's also a big question mark. I mean, what is going on? During his stream, he was also talking about how he got assaulted in the middle of the street without any police protection protection at all. They don't do anything to protect the citizens that are living in the city at all. So, I mean, it, it comes to a weird point where it's like, should we have the FBI maybe investigate? Should Ted Wheeler resign? Should be forced to resign? 
It's like, does my city even have a police department anymore? Or it's like, does Antifa run this whole entire city? Mob rule? Antifa has blocked road streets, sometimes even directing traffic, and then they just get off the hook. They can just do whatever they want, no repercussions at all. It's like, is there any authority really in this town? Or do people that, you know, have a certain political viewpoint, they're only going to be in trouble? I don't know, it's kind of weird. At least coming to stuff like this, obviously, you know, police are doing their jobs and I'm not being disrespectful or anything like that. But what I mean is just specifically this one incident, it seems like they are definitely favoring, you know, protecting Antifa over protecting, you know, innocent citizens, journalists. Companies like Facebook, they ban, you know, different hate groups, but at the same time, they won't ban Antifa. It's a little bit weird, and Antifa has a lot of different accounts all over major platforms, major social platforms, but they won't allow the Proud Boys to have any platforms. I'm not entirely sure what's going on, but at this point, I feel like Antifa is being funded by someone really, really shady. I mean, so you had proof back a while ago of paid protesters. Now, that wouldn't be really that weird if Antifa is being paid. There's a lot of people all of a sudden in Antifa, and it is really weird. And then the things that they do, it doesn't make any sense. They met with the cartel, but at the same time, they're just kind of getting away with doing whatever they want all these liberal cities obviously you don't see them in like a republican city because or a red state i would say and you wouldn't see that because nobody would allow that well creators are having different books taken down from barnes and noble from nook and amazon you have antifa getting away being able to sell 10 different books even a comic book they are literally selling it in store online Book censorship is happening around the entire nation. All of a sudden, they have some sort of immunity. Yeah, I don't think so. That's not acceptable. Going back to Andy, though, it's just absolutely heartbreaking because he's doing real journalism. We have all these lazy, far-left activists, wannabe journalists that are ruining our country. He's trying to show the truth and what's really going on. Then he gets attacked and put in the hospital. It's absolutely horrible. I heard that he had a brain hemorrhage from it. If we didn't have journalists like Andy risking it all, then we wouldn't even know what's going on in our country. We'd have all these false ideas of what the country's really like, when in fact, you know that the media is lying constantly. They're lying all the time. And you have someone like Andy telling the truth, trying to show the truth and what it is. And then this happens. So I wanted to go over Andy's GoFundMe. It's at Protect Andy No Fun, created by Michelle Malkin, and it did really, really good. The first 24 hours, it raised over $100,000, and now it's over $156,000. There's also a major attack on an elderly man. There's a video going around where Portland and Tifa, they're beating up the man with a crowbar, leaving him bleeding. Then another man comes and tries to help him, and he also gets struck in the head by the crowbar. Then he's also sprayed as well. So, I mean, Antifa is the new KKK. They need to be put to a stop because what they're doing right now is unlawful. It makes everybody in like a dangerous situation, including Antifa, because now you have basically the whole entire nation mad at them. I would say at least every single normal person. You have even CNN freaking out. Now, Portland's mayor, Ted Wheeler, is facing extreme backlash. And I mean, everybody is absolutely mad. They should be, I'm mad. I mean, okay. We need to be protected. We need to feel protected everywhere in America, not just Portland. Like you have to have police protection. And when the police have their hands tied, it's difficult, then they're gonna get blamed. And they were also being attacked by Antifa too, where they had eggs thrown at them. They had milkshakes thrown at them. I don't know if any of them have chemical burns. Maybe they do because obviously the milkshakes, I'm not sure if every single milkshake had chemicals in them but it looked like they were mixing in this powder or like this, uh, I don't even know what it was. It was like in a square container, but something they're mixing into the milkshake. So that's obviously not edible. I bet some of the police are furious about not being able to do anything. It's not like every single cop's like, oh yeah, like that's a good thing. They agree with Antifa and they're siding with Antifa. But at the same time, like, they don't want to lose their jobs, obviously. More cops should have been arresting Antifa left and right, though. So that's something that it just uncalled for completely. No excuses. On that note, I'm going to head out. But I'm going to have another video coming very shortly. There's a lot of videos on my channel if you want to go check them out. So I'll check you next time.